guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about car sales, phone scripts, the importance of scripts, and some personal preferences of mine in terms of techniques when making phone calls. Now, there's going to be a lot of videos on the channel and on the platform once we build our own demand platform where I actually show you how to do the phone calls. But I just want to talk about some techniques that you can apply right now and maybe tweak your game a little bit to make it a little easier on you. So let's think about this. When we're going into the phone call, most importantly, we have to prime our mind that we're not a nuisance. We're not bugging the customer. We're offering them an opportunity. You have to sit straight up. You have to be in a position of power. Or if maybe it's better for you, you can even sit back nice and relaxed. That, that works too, depending on the type of phone call, right? I think the easiest and softest entrance to any phone call is from a customer service standpoint, just calling to check in on the customer's current vehicle and see how their experience has been with it. When using phone scripts, if, if you could choose between sounding scripted and being super profound and using all these big words or just being genuine and being yourself, I would always suggest you sound like yourself because the customer can feel it on the other end of the phone. They can feel your energy. They can feel if you sound robotic. We've all been there. We've all answered the phone. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Anthony, please? This is him. Hi, Anthony. I'm calling from ABC's uh, sales consultant company. Um, just reaching out to you to see if you know that the biggest and most profitable opportunity for any business is sales consulting. Did you know that, Anthony? I'm just making this up off the cup. That's how they sound. Hi, can you speak to Anthony, please? Yeah, this is Anthony. Hi, Anthony. This is John. I'm calling for... It's like... I, I literally hang up immediately, right? So, don't be that. I'm going to show you on my iPad right here. Rather than using a script, maybe try this. I'm a big filter tree type of guy. What I mean by that is... If this, then that, right? If they say this, then you say that. If they say that, then you say this type of thing. And you can even put your, I believe in that very strongly. And I believe in having your word tracks, almost like little bullet points of things you could say if you need to add a little bit of spice to the call, maybe add some sense of urgency, build value and why they should take action. Now, you can put them on the same basically page as your filter tree. I'll show you right here. I just typed it up for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's just assume that this is a customer service call, right? I'm going to hold this up so you can see it. Customer service call. So this is a customer service call, and you're reaching out to the customer to see how their vehicle has been treating them over the length of ownership. And you ask them if they still have the vehicle. If they say yes over here, you're then going to ask them on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being perfect, how would you rate your current vehicle? If they say 8, you then ask them, what would make it a 10, right? Now, let's say they said they didn't have the vehicle. Whoops. And they say, no, I don't have the 2017 Jeep Compass any longer. You're going to ask them, well, what are you driving now? I'm driving a 2020 Jeep Wrangler. Okay, great. Let me update your profile. On a scale of 1 to 10, just so I can add some notes here, how's the Wrangler been treating you? How would you rate the Wrangler and your experience with it so far? Uh, I'd give it about a 9. Or let's say, forget the 10. Let's say they said, I'll give it a 10. You can ask them, what do you say then, right? Uh-oh, it's a 10. Let me ask you this. What would make it an 11? What would make it an 11? If you could pick one thing you could change about your Wrangler right now, what would it be? Different color, maybe different equipment inside, different interior, exterior, size. I mean, or if you could change your vehicle, would you get something bigger or smaller, maybe different color, darker or lighter colors? Start to qualify them if they could pick in a perfect world. Now, a lot of them are going to just say, no, 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 I'm good with my Wrangler. You know why? Not because it's perfect for them, right? Not because there isn't something out there better. It's because they don't even feel like diving into talking about spending more money for something, right? So that, that's what they're saying. They're not saying, no, I wouldn't take something else. They're saying, no, I don't even want to waste my time or even talk about spending more money. So remember that. In between the filter tree here, I have three little, which I know it's hard to read, but I have three little bullet points. Buyback event. You can tell your customer you're having a buyback event. We're giving above market value for all trade-ins. Above market value, right? And the market's about to adjust. The market's about to adjust on pre-owned vehicles. So your trading right now is worth more than it'll ever be worth, right? More than it'll ever be worth. So that's just a little something, one little filter tree that I like to do, customer service, you know, just giving you a call on behalf of the customer service department, checking in. It's a routine follow-up call. One of my sales reps over at the store that I train with, Pistol Pete, Pistol Pete, shout out to Pistol Pete. He loves the routine follow-up call. And listen, once you start to say it becomes muscle memory, you start flowing, you don't sound scripted. You don't have to think about it. And that's when the magic happens. 
When your actions become subconscious actions, you don't have to apply thought to them. They just start flowing and your thought, your capacity for thinking, critical thinking, can now be applied towards higher level problems and kind of digging through the toolbox to figuring out which word track I use here, how do I overcome this objection, what idea could I do, what can I do to paint the picture of, of value and how, uh, how they should come follow through with this process that I'm laying out in front of them. And don't forget, you have to go for the appointment. You have to go for the close. Just like when you're in person, if you present all the numbers, give them all the info, but you don't go to close the deal, nothing happens. You have to go for the appointment. So when you're calling, and I will leave with this because this really, you can get deep with this stuff. We can do it in other videos, but remember, your customer is asking themselves, right? When you're calling, they're asking themselves very quickly, very quickly, who are you? What do you have and why do I need it? Who are you, right? Who's calling me right now? So you have to answer that. Make sure you're answering this. Who you are, right? I'm Anthony giving you a call from the customer service department at John Smith Motors. You know, if I were to reach out and let's say I was looking for Bob, I would say, hi, can I speak to Bob, please? This is him. Hey, Bob, it's Anthony over at Bob Smith Motors. How are you, man? I'm good. What's this about? Bob, just giving you a quick routine follow-up call. I'm calling from the customer service department. Just checking in to see how your vehicle's treating you. Are you still driving the 2017 Jeep Compass? No, I'm not driving that. Okay, Bob, let me update your profile. Good thing I called. What are you driving right now? Oh, I'm driving a 2020 Jeep Wrangler. Excellent, Bob. I'm going to update your profile right now. Bob, really quickly so I can add some notes. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being perfect, how would you rate your experience with the Wrangler so far? Now, I'd give it about a 9. Give it about a 9. Awesome. Let me ask you this, Bob. What would make it a 10? Uh, well, if it was a black, I'm sick of this white color. Oh, you're sick of the white. Well, believe it or not, Bob, we have about five black Wranglers in stock right now. And on top of that, if you didn't find something on the lot that you thought was perfect, even though I do think there's one perfect for you, you could actually do a custom build, spec the vehicle out exactly the way you want it. This way you don't have to pay for more equipment that you don't need and you get everything that you want. So that's a great option as well. Bob, let me ask you, what are you doing today? Are you free? Are you around the neighborhood today to stop by? Or maybe would tomorrow be better for you? Right? So kind of see how I kind of flow through that a little bit. Um, once again, who are you? What do you have and why do I need it? Why do I need it? Well, Bob, you need it because right now you're driving a vehicle that you don't love. Obviously, you would have given it a 10 if you did when I had asked you the rating. And if you are thinking about getting into something else, right now is the best time. Let's just say hypothetically, it is November during this video. I could say right now is on the cusp where the model year is about to change completely. The 2023s are coming out, but they're not all out yet. So right now is the greatest time to take advantage of a car deal because your trade-in value hasn't really dropped as much yet as it's going to in the next few weeks. Once the 2023 comes out, your 2020 becomes a whole model year older. And right now there's still that inventory mesh where there's 22s and 23s to take advantage of a great deal. Once the 22s are gone, it's only going to be 23s. Inventory, you know, supply is going to drop a little bit. So right now it's like that sweet spot. And particularly in the automotive industry, Bob, right before Thanksgiving, it's a slow time. Holidays didn't get here yet. And we're looking to make deals that we normally wouldn't make, right? So that's just some stuff you could say. So once again, put some bullet points down, have some, some word tracks, have just, just little quick things you can look at and you know exactly what to say, but you have to practice these things. And I'm a firm believer in a this or that, um, you know, type of filter tree where you could just very look at it. You can look at it easily. If they say yes, then I say this. If they say no, then I say this. If they say this, then I say that. And don't forget, go for the appointment. That's the one thing a lot of people forget to do. They don't ask. They don't ask for the appointment. Go for the appointment. Who are you? What do I have? What do you have rather? Why do I need it? Use a script. Don't sound scripted. Practice the script so you don't have to read it any longer, but it's always good to have some word tracks and bullet points at your disposal if you need them. Hey, my friend, thank you for watching. And if you want to see videos just like this one, please like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate the love and support. And don't forget, leave some comments down below. I'm looking forward to all of your interaction and feedback, and I can't wait to bring you more videos just like this one. Thanks again. I'll talk to you soon.